Well, throughout this race, Chris Pappas has said he is one of the most bipartisan members of the U.S. House. He says his opponent is extreme and the wrong choice for this district. We caught up with Congressman Pappas earlier today while he was visiting polling locations in the Queen City. He was first elected to the U.S. House in 2018 and says he is the candidate who can work across the aisle. The Democratic incumbent says he wants to continue to find solutions to bolster energy supplies, drive down the cost of prescription drugs and health care, while protecting a woman's right to choose. Well, I think people should look at our track record. I've uh, been a small business owner. I've worked across the aisle. I've stood up to members of my own party when they're wrong for New Hampshire. Uh, and we need to work on lowering costs and also protecting personal freedoms, uh, taking on big oil and big pharma that have too much power in Washington, D.C., protecting Social Security. Even if Democrats lose their majority in the House, Pappas says there will always be ways to find common ground. Reporting live in Manchester, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9. Republican Caroline Levitt challenging the incumbent there, Chris Pappas, in this race. And if she wins, she'd be the youngest woman elected to Congress. WMUR's Tim Callery is live for us in Rye, where Levitt and her supporters are watching the election results tonight. Tim. Well, Caroline Levitt, her team and her supporters will gather here at the Wentworth by the Sea Country Club this evening where they are hoping to celebrate a victory tonight. But earlier today, Levitt spent much of the day out on the campaign trail, making a last minute push, trying to reach as many voters as possible. The Hampton resident grew up in Atkinson, where she worked for her family's ice cream stand in that town and later worked at her father's small business over in Plastow. This is the 25 year old's first run for office, but she is no stranger to politics. The St. Anselm College graduate previously served as an assistant press secretary under President Trump. She also served as the communications director for U.S. Rep. Elise Stefanik of New York. And tonight, Levitt tells us she is feeling confident that after this evening, she will have her own office on Capitol Hill. We feel great. We really do. I feel so confident and I know that our team has worked so hard. We've knocked hundreds of thousands of doors. We've put in the work to speak to voters directly and to reach out to them, to talk to them about the issues that are facing them and their families, their businesses, our community.